I'm going to talk about Foley bulbs for induction. You might hear them called Cook's balloons, Cook catheters, Foley balloons. This is a form of induction where they will try to mechanically open the cervix. It's for early labor, and what they do is stick a thin, flexible tube through your cervix, and someone will inflate the balloon with saline. Sometimes there are two bulbs, and sometimes there is one bulb. I'll show you. So up here is an image of one bulb, and what they do is after they inflate it, they will gently pull on it and essentially tape it to your leg, and about every half an hour to an hour, depending on your hospital protocol, they will gently pull it to put the pressure on the cervix, and the goal is to make your cervix thinner and dilate more. Here's a good image of a Foley bulb with two bulbs on each side, so it's putting pressure on both sides of the cervix. The goal is to mechanically open the cervix. Typically, it will fall out anywhere between three and six centimeters, depending on how much they inflate those balloons. And as far as pain, I actually personally had this done to me with my second child, and I thought it was very painful. I didn't have any pain medication on board. So if someone with an epidural had one done to them, they might not feel anything. So why would they choose a Foley bulb to induce someone? Well, there are several reasons to where you would use this if you needed to mechanically open the cervix. For example, let's say someone is contracting too much and we can't give them more medicine, but they're not dilating and it's been a while. It could be provider's preference. It could be patient preference. Irritating someone's cervix like this can potentially put them into labor. Let me know if you have any other questions.